all the kind of pictures I was making stopped. It went to a dead standstill. And I actually began to, I had begun to hate photography. So when I was ready to go back and photograph again, I decided to do something completely different. So I started making these, what I call them, portraits of the ocean. I was trying to create emotional photographs because I felt that the ocean was probably the most emotional landscape on Earth. It was a lone process. I'd go out to these bluffs all year round. I'd get out there and me, my camera, and make these pictures. While I was doing it, I, I didn't know I was at a surf break also. A few times I'd get out there and like, there are some surfers in my picture. And you know, so I'd like, I had a whistle, so I'd like whistle and I'd like, I'd tell them to get out of the way. <laughs> Arrogant, huh? <laughs> And one day I happened to be out there and it was, had been like a stormy day and I could see the sun kind of creeping out and, on, and you know on the south side it's like black so like I'm racing to get there <laughs> set up my equipment you know which I do in time it's still dark and I take take a few shots and and when the sun broke through this thing happened I don't know what to call it but Basically, I felt like I could hear these people who were really far away. I felt like I could hear all the surfers go, ah, or shouting, or I, I, I don't know what to say. It's like, in this one moment, I felt like I bonded with all those people in the ocean who I didn't even want to be in my picture. And then it turned out to be one of the most amazing pictures that I've ever made because it's not just about the relationship of the sea to the sky or me to it. It's a relationship of us to it. It was just this moment that made me like think that I had a relationship with surfers.